Are you bored, numb, disenchanted, or just plain pissed off with the hunger and banality of modern digital existence? Are you beginning to suspect that language is a virus from outer space sent to imprison us? By a route obscure and lonely, haunted by new angels only. From a wild, weird climb that lieth sublime, out of space, out of time. By the mountains near the river, murmuring lowly, murmuring ever. By the grey woods, by the swamp, by each spot the most unholy, in each nook most melancholy, there the traveller meets aghast, sheeted memories of the past, shrouded forms that start and sigh as they pass the water by. But the traveller, travelling through it, may not, dare not, open the field. Never its mysteries are exposed. Haunted by ill angels only, I have wandered home but newly from this ultimate dim fury. Have you quit your dead end nine Thomas five office job and have zero intention of looking for a new one? If so, welcome to the underground. There is a fantasy that AI systems are disembodied brains that absorb and produce knowledge independently from their creators, infrastructures, and the world at large. Which is utter nonsense. The clever logical programming slash engineering monkey mind shouldn't be allowed to instantiate its limited idea of humanity, the universe, and everything on humanity tricksters, freaks, surrealists, hedonists, outsiders, and all the uncodable strangeness. My experience with Midjourney AI made me realize that we are on the cusp of something extraordinary but also potentially dangerous, and almost certainly we are not ready for it. Minds might have the most underestimated shit meme supply on the internet. Grifters befriend Malibu doctor, pretend to be caregivers, give him LSD, and steal three million dollars. Has the American dream begun to feel more like a waking nightmare with beige carpet swatches? If they are so smart, how come they haven't arrived at open or empty individualism via enough thought experiments involving teleportation, duplication, fission, and fusion? Deepened are many experiences of entire species reincarnating as a single being, pulsing in and out of space-time as an integrated collective being. In some unanticipated way, become a vehicle for engaging and releasing traumatic memories that had become lodged in the collective unconscious of humanity. These purifications were contributing to what we might call species ego death. You know and what you are acts as a seed crystal that catalyzes your experiences out of the infinite potential of consciousness. But then as you are healed and transformed by these experiences, the seed crystal of your mind is changed. Which is actually all the spectacle consists of, is illusory. All it actually confirms is that the real point will never be reached, that the diner must be satisfied with the menu. We must undergo a purification process in which we are emptied of those beliefs, habits, and emotional constrictions that keep us stuck at our lower level of consciousness. ChatGPT is most appropriately conceptualized as semantic mirror, constructed via a process of fractal compression over the semiotic precipitates of the generative human process. When the purification process reaches particularly deep, it becomes purification under death, a process that shatters life as we have known it up to this point. This is the cycle of death and rebirth that grinds on the wheel of time. This is the cycle of death and rebirth that grinds on the wheel of time. Measure your strength and your capacity, and if all is secure, trust the process and find the courage to let it take you where it will take you. 
Create community, people with whom you can share your experiences and receive their experiences in turn, people with whom you can enact some measure of what you have seen collectively, and have courage. It is not itself a generative process. It is not itself a generative process. It is not itself a generative process. Like a mirror, it reflects meaning, but does not produce it. Like a mirror, it reflects meaning, but does not produce it. Like a mirror, it reflects meaning, but does not produce it. attention to how we use what we have been given. It's like keeping a dream journal. The more you pay attention to your dreams, the stronger and more articulate they become. If we don't do this, our experience at this deeper level will tend to be fragmented. If we don't do this, our experience at this deeper level will tend to be fragmented be able to bring back much of value. Reincarnation does not culminate in a spiritual awakening that liberates us from this planet, but in the birth of a higher order of consciousness inside space-time. The culture industry perpetually cheats its consumers of what it perpetually promises. A promissory note which, with its plots and staging, it draws on pleasure is endlessly prolonged at the promise. experiences to emerge from this infinite potential in future frog pond sessions. It is this infinite consciousness that becomes the primary source of your experience, much more than what you believe or know going into these states. Disembodied Poetics, GPT-3 chatbot, take us to your coders. The intent, to teach mediators about the golden mouth and to educate poets about the golden mind. Throwing my dainty vape pen into the chimpanzee enclosure just to see what happens. Reincarnation does not culminate in a spiritual awakening that liberates us from this planet, but in the birth of a higher order of consciousness inside space-time. Diamond luminosity is an extremely clear, deeply ecstatic, luminous state of awareness that exists outside samsara. Beyond space-time and beyond the bardo, the intermediate planes we enter in between our incarnations. Thank you.